every time everyone has to reset their their units because obviously you're only allowed tier four in the normal matchmaker and they have to right click everything off and put ones in they need um again kebabs have got a lot more killing hero classes than love and devotion have love and devotion no they haven't changed anything so they've got a massive chunk of uh, short swords four pole axes and then two pikes a drill blade and a musket um i don't know who actually ended up dc in the last time but whoever it was they've managed to set up now uh they got a good chunk of stuff they've actually got a decent amount of anti-cap they've actually got a decent amount of cav themselves as well the, the amount of sally outs that's been going on today there's definitely going to be a sally out here as well so we've got one two three four five six seven ten. at least 11 sets of cavalry from uh kebabs going to be sallying out now so let's see how well it goes one of our guys couldn't connect for some reason okay Blackwing got Q pop, but the game didn't load in for him. It's a bug, guys. It's, a, it's, a, it's not a bug, guys. It's a feature. Right, so let's see how well this goes down. So there's going to be an absolutely massive sally out. So I will get in the air as quickly as possible. Um, and we'll see how well Love and Devotion can react to this one. So we've had multiple sally outs so far. We've had sally outs that have gone absolutely amazingly for the sally outers. We've had sally outs that have gone absolutely ter terrible for the sally outers. Let's see how this one goes. So a treb's already been called in. So they're expecting a sally out. I, don't... I was going to say if that's not too early, but it is. They've done no damage and now they're not going to be at a treb again. They should have waited until the gate started opening and then trebbed. Um, they're getting ballisted as well. Are they actually going to sally out or are they going to not do it now because they got pushed already? I think they're not actually going to sally out. I think they were going to and then because they've seen that um, Love and Devotion are actually prepared for a sally, they're not going to bother. They maybe have slowed them down a little bit. None of the siege towers are moving yet. Um, they've lost 13 units like just ballistas and cannons and stuff so probably not that bothered. Um, with that massive chunk of cavalry though, for kebabs. Love and Devotion can maybe just push the gateway here. They've got so much anti-cav. It would maybe actually be a, be a play to as a block. Move through the gatehouse. Uh, and then just basically destroy it. If they get charged by the cavalry, just nuke it. Otherwise, just get on top of the wall. You've got infantry and just take the point. Um, at the minute, they're just allowing kebabs to just constantly use their artillery. To get damage in. They've lost 34 units already. I mean, yeah, the, the, the siege towers are moving now, but they're not really getting much done. They haven't destroyed any of the artillery yet. Or barely any of the artillery yet. Uh, so, Eper. Three minute delay as well, boys. So, I could have said kebabs and you wouldn't have seen it until three minutes. And you'd be like, why is this douchebag ignoring me? <laughs> Right, so, obviously no heroes have died, two trebs have been used, the gate is now closed, the ram is not moving, so the ram's not going up. Um, Love and Devotion have left a good chunk of people on cavalry, so have Kibab, so they're probably just in case keeping cavalry out, just in case the gate re does get reopened and they have to, to try and counter another sally out. Probably as soon as the siege towers do get in though, they will change to infantry and then move up onto the wall. They've now lost nearly 40 units. Kizu needs to be very careful here. If he gets jumped up, oh, good good man. Jumped up, got rid of the, the, the cannon and jumped straight off so he couldn't get killed. Uh, kebabs are now pulling back from A, so Love and Devotion going to be able to push forward. They're probably not even going to bring most of their units. They'll just get on A as, as bobs, go over to the resupply over here and get their, get their stuff done. So Sons of Fenrir are coming here on the Broken. Broken's managed to get away. Palace Guards will absolutely annihilate Sons of Fenrir, though. I do like that Kebabs are using, like, the artillery that's on the map so well so far. I think this is the, the best use of artillery I've seen um, this evening, definitely. Uh, they've got, what, 40-odd unit kills done just with the artillery. And uh, that's like what, um, what I was saying Love and Devotion should have been doing. The artillery should have been used to shoot all of the units instead of shooting at the towers and stuff. Or it was a match earlier on. I think it might have been Triarchy Chocolate Paladin. But um, it's basically just getting free unit kills, isn't it? Like, they should have done it. So, Kebabs have got a good stack up on the back staircase. Here, at least four or five heroes. 
Uh, again, the problem that these guys are going to have, I've said it every single time. <laughs> if Love and Devotion do a quick push, say on B or down this staircase, they've got a long way to, to rotate. Man. you got Sadrazam in the back here, uh, just scouting, basically. Just making Love and Devotion think that maybe they're going to push there or whatever. The Sally was fake. I don't know. I think they maybe were going to go for the Sally, but I think they're just Love and Devotion. Like, they, how many Sally out? Like, I think every... Every matchup tonight, obviously not every round, but every matchup tonight has had at least a Sally out in it. Uh, like one of them had like both teams Sallied out. So it's, there's been so many Sallies out that Love and Devotion were prepared for one. And Kebabs were like, if we go out here, we're just going to lose, lose uh, units for no reason. So they decided to change their mind. I mean, that could have been the plan all along because there's been so many Sallies out, but um, I think they were going to go for it. And then when they seen that the, there was a decent setup, they were like, nah, we're just going to trade like too evenly. Let's pull back and um, go from there. It obviously delayed them at least maybe 30 seconds to a minute as well because they didn't get everything straight on the Siege Towers. They just cause they could see them in the gatehouse. So they decided to just wait slowly. Uh, Kebabs have got a decent amount of stuff on B as well. They've removed the stuff on the stairs as well. So they're more concentrated on supply and B. They've also got shorter rotation routes now. There is a lot of at least heroes. There's no units here. Oh, apologies. <laughs> a lot of uh, heroes up on the wall here, but the actual units are down on the floss. It looks like Love and Devotion might actually be going to go in for a B push. I think they pushed them too far up though, and these guys here have popped out and seen that there's loads of units here. So probably what love and devotion you can do is jump off the the wall these berserkers are pushed up here they've been or are being countered now by love and devotion with uh, heroes and stuff they might actually be able to get a decent hero trade out of this although the berserkers have absolutely just crushed through everything up there the main fight is going on down here now, although Love and Devotion are very spread out. The flames for both teams are going to do work here. Interesting. I'm going to keep try keeping an eye on that and see what's going on up on the wall. So over at the sea and supply, nothing's going on. There's still a couple of muskets here bombing down. They've got no more units to do anything, so the, the fight is here. So the shield walls are facing off against each other. Uh, I'd say the angle of the flames for Love and Devotion is slightly better because they're like behind here and can just shoot straight into a big blob and Kebabs obviously try to keep their safe at an angle. Oh, they've got two sets. I stand corrected. Two sets of flames for Kebabs doing absolute work. Only one for Love and Devotion. And it looks like they're slowly pushing him back as well. Got Claymore's pushing in now. Have Love and Devotion's... Oh no, now they're firing. I was going to say, if their flames run out of ammo... I'm looking on the minimap at the same time to make sure there's no, like, magic rotations going on or something that we haven't seen. The amount of shields here as well, stopping these flames is doing work, man. Having two sets of flame up for kebabs is actually working wonders for them. They've killed 300 units of love and devotion, so 153 lost. Uh, both teams are starting to pull back, probably because flamer ammo's out. Interesting. H and K needs to be careful here. Luckily there's no mall to pick him up to just drag him off and kill him. Oh, there's a mall coming now, but they're pulling back. So what are Love and Devotion going to do here? They've got six minutes left to go. Um, units that are left alive is still very even. They've definitely lost more than the defenders have. I don't know if it's a good idea to just go full frontal there with everything. Um, obviously... Not when there's two sets of flames on the field to chunk down your units. I think what they need to try and do is, is doing some like shenanigans with like baiting uh, rotations maybe. And then seeing if they can get work done that way. I think hero death wise though. There's like one, one hero died so far. So both teams have been very sensible with their hero lives. Which is actually impressive when you think how far into the game we are and one hero's died on both teams. That is mental. There's still 10 trebs left in the game for Love and Devotion as well. Looks like they're going to do a full rotation to the supply side. But again, that's one staircase where 
Um, kebabs can set up a pretty decent death box, especially if they've still got their two sets of flames up, which they're pretty sure they do. They are pulling cavalry out now as well. Is that Manas? That is. Looks like Leon Leon Kerr has got his monastics out. Alarm of the Brave pushing up the back staircase again with his Berserkers. If he can get them into a lot of the units up here, they're going to do work. Them flames need to get protected. Fort Brachia, though, should ruin Berserkers. I think the Brave's pulling back, though. That's that's a bad push. Um, oof. Rocky's just been picked up by a Maul. So Rocky's deed. Again, though, the Flames here is going to pull, like, play a huge part. So flames are going off already on the stairs. The Kaelin as well from the attackers. Zexy Boom has got his out. They don't actually have Flame as the defenders. So the fact that Broken Vortex for Love and Devotion has got his Flames out, if he can get them down here and start flaming, they're going to do absolute work. B's completely open. Blackwind's coming round as well. I think... The fl are the flames just not shooting? Or did they get killed or something? Like, I'm confused. Why are the flames not firing? Maybe the archers got rid of the flames? So confused. Both teams have dropped two heroes, though. There's nothing going on at the B side. Rocky's going to come that way now. I don't know what unit he's got, though. Rocky's got cataphract, so he should be able to get through whatever's there. Yeah, he would have been able to get through Madal if he'd have gone through, through. Papa Bear just died. Uh, Love and Devotion look like they're going to get control of the supply over here, even though they've dropped more heroes than Kebabs have. Kebabs are going to come in with a huge cavalry charge now, though. So here comes the Cataphract spam again, I suppose. And Love and Devotion are going to struggle with this. Obviously, Fort Brachia are going to do damage against the Catters, but if they get through... Oh, they actually stopped them. They didn't have their full defense abilities up. There are still a decent amount of Love and Devotion heroes, but I think they've been overwhelmed. Especially with even more cavalry coming in, it's GG. Rocky's about to die again. I hope that's not his third death, otherwise he's out the fight. Uh, you've got multiple guys now for Love and Devotion pushing in, it looks like, to go for B. Treb coming down, not really hitting much. Unit-wise, 600 deaths for Love and Devotion, nearly 400 for Kebabs. Kebabs have got so much cavalry out at the minute, though. They've basically got like half-half, half-cav, half-infantry. Um, in the back here, they're not actually pushing, although you can see, they probably are going to push there. They've got three or four guys down on the floor. It'll take too long to get up onto the thing again. I think they're going to have to push that way. Uh, the majority of Love and Devotion are dead. Let's see, hero disparities, 16 killed to three, which is huge. Um, Love and Devotion still have all 15 players, though, looking at it. So there's at least something, but they've got basically time for one push. We've got time for one push, and it looks like they're going to funnel into the B side. The defenders do have one unit of flames up still, and they've got so much cavalry. I suppose at least the attackers have got a lot of uh, anti-cav. They do have flames of their own as well, so it looks like the brawl is going to be going down here, but Love and Devotion need to push quickly. They cannot afford to wait. They've got two minutes, and they need to get a point. Obviously, with this setup, it's going to be difficult to get through because the flames are going to be sat in the back here somewhere. There they go. There's, there goes the first flame shots. They've not got like an amazing angle, but as soon as the attackers get here, they're going to get melted. Serializer, how are you doing, bud? It's going to be rough. They don't really have a choice, so they have to go in. So IPG walks coming down to try and clear the front ranks. Um, the flamers from the defenders are doing absolute work, though. You got a couple of the heroes from Love and Devotion jumping in, trying to get apologies, trying to get rid of the flames, and just look at the cataphract spam coming now. Like, look at all of the cataphracts there. When you think the amount of anti cavalry that's supposedly on the field for Love and Devotion, the cataphracts just run straight over the front of it. Obviously, they're getting CC'd by the flames, so the flames CC in them, they've got the burn effect, and the cataphracts is running over, but that was. Like, when you think anti cavalry should actually count the cavalry, and cataphracts are just like, nah, peace. <laughs> Brutal fight, man. Brutal fights. That's GG to kebabs. Very well played. Um, like, I'm actually... That is actually a ridiculous amount of anti-cavalry that... Uh... Did Ruger get the back supply? He did get the supply and then come through with cap... I mean, he's, he's going to die, but... I didn't even realise he capped that. Ruger's just trying to run around and not die. <laughs> 20-odd seconds left of the match, though, it's GG, man.
uh, and kebabs have sallied out as well. Try to get some spawn camps going off, but I think they're too strung out that they won't, they probably shouldn't be able to kill anything here. It's GG though. Well played, kebabs, man. Well played. Um, I did not expect that cavalry to absolutely trounce the anti-cav that was here though. Maybe the walks were too early, or maybe it was literally the flames just uh, getting the flame effect off or the burn effect off on the whole blob, and then the cab could just run through. And it was just like a graphical glitch that we couldn't actually see where the flames were reaching to. Um, but Broken Vortex, the MVP for the for Love and Devotion, so the, the attacking team and the losing team, uh, he played the flames for, I think, two of the pushes as well. So got six flames killed himself as well, six the Kalian. 2-2-2 two, two, two and 133 units killed. Um, when you think the amount of deaths that Love and Devotion had, and like for oh, well over half of the game, there was one you, uh, one hero that had died the whole match. It was absolutely ridiculous. Then you got Bubbles here with the second place, 0 2 4 and 83. And then Grandpa GRZ in third place. Then for the winning team... Sexy Kebab with MVP, 5, 0, 11, and 108 units killed. He got a what, 22 Iron Reapers, 6 the Kalian as well. Good, good kills. Sexy Boomer with 8 Sifferophanoi. Good chunk of other really strong anti cav units as well. And then he, what did he get? He got 4, 0, 10, and 132. So the most unit kills from both teams. Who actually got the most heroes? I think it's 5, isn't it? A joint 5 hero kills from Kebab, Sexy Kebab and. I have no idea how to say that. Sexy Kiafaki. Hey. I probably just destroyed your name, my dude, and I apologize. But uh, they look like they had the most. Yeah, they did. They had the most hero. Okay. So at the beginning, obviously, that a long time until the, the initial fight kicks off. Um, if it was intended to just stall and make it look like they were going to sally out, or it was actually they were going to sally out and seeing that the, the love and devotion were prepared and decided not to, it went really well for them either way. Uh,